I met this gentleman through Roland Worth, and um, we were at an, um, his Christmas in July party. And I was, first I couldn't understand why there were all of these beautiful people just flocking around him. And then I, Randa said I can't, things that Randa say, Randa said I can't flirt, but boy, is he handsome. I can't even, it's, it's undeniable that he's handsome. So of course that's the first thing I looked at. Then when I saw all the white and all the other people in the praise, I said, okay, I can't, I can't flirt with a man of God, but I can't ask him questions and ask him about his, federal, his foundation and all the things that he's doing in the community. So welcome to the Cassandra Calloway Show. Yahweh, Yahweh, the Holy Ghost, correct? Thank you, thank you. Yes. I'm not even going to tell you what I was saying. As I, I don't want to say I have dyslexia or <laughs> d I just can't read. Cause I'm, and I'm not going to say it because then I'll start calling you by the wrong name again and then Rando will kill me and then that'll be the end of that. <laughs> and we're not having that. I just can't call you fine, sir. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, oh, thank wait, you, beautiful. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank I'm you, that hurt. Okay, I mean, I'm done now. Yeah, I'm really done. <laughs> How do I address you so, I, so I'm proper? Yahweh. Yahweh. Yes. So now you're the, uh, tell us your exact title, Yahweh. I am the founder of the Celestial Federation of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Our global movement, and not religion, is about helping those that cannot help themselves. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I'd like to thank my father, Yahweh, our father, the God of the Bible, the God of the King James Version of the Bible. Um, and our title, not just mine, but everybody, our movement, we understand, we realize that our Father, the one that created everything you see and don't see, mm -hmm. lives in the heart of man. So, and for that reason, we worship mankind. Everybody that we look at, we understand our Father is there. For that reason, we worship you, we love you, and we recognize that in order for the world to change, all across the country and the world, they need Yahweh. They need God's children to stand up to make a change. And that's a change that nobody can vote for. Everybody has to take uh, their own personal responsibility and say, look, I'm going to change myself and be the model for the whole entire world. And you're being a model because didn't you st start a ministry in a, in a prison as well? Yes, we have a prison ministry mm -hmm. as well. That's right. Anybody who needs help. Uh, we also um, visit the convalescent homes. Um, we just had a parade in Miami that we have uh, once a year. Now we added a, an additional parade this past year. We went to where the homeless were, where they were at. Mm -hmm. We went there. And we fed them there by at least eight police escorts with a beautiful caravan. We went to the homeless to show them, to let them know what happens to you affects us. So they didn't have to worry about going to a soup kitchen. Kitchen. We went there to show our love. Now, you're taking on such a big task because of the way, because we do live in the world and everyone yes, has yes. these demons and things that we're supposed to do and we're not supposed to do. How do you get through? How would you approach, get through to a 52-year-old woman who just stopped drinking, found God, and don't do some other stuff because we're on the air? <laughs> what, um, would be your, what would what'd you say? We look for the best in everybody. Mm -hmm. we, we don't mm -hmm. judge. Mm -hmm. um, no matter. No judging. We, we don't judge. Because um, in our organization, if you walk through our door, not only do you become family, we also have decided we don't judge you based on your caterpillar life, if the Father has sent you to us, that means he found something in you and in everybody else that he feels of, as a value. So for that reason, whatever he feels is a value is a value to us. When did you hear the first calling of God? Well, at a very young age, at a very young age, um, growing up in a home where my mother, she was Methodist, 